Oh, I didn't realize we were vlogging. How's everybody doing? Hey, hey, John. Good morning from Hollywood Studios. We have already been in, inside of Olga's Cantina, so we're both one drink in. We've got a blue milk. It's the best, I don't care what the haters say. And we're heading out of Batu. Look! Oh my god, look at that. Wow, huge. What's wrong with you? So, there's a lot to do in Hollywood Studios, but we are here for one reason today. One reason. Look! And then the things are it's everywhere! There's no way it doesn't get renewed with this much stuff. That's crazy. Chris, when do you think we'll get a season two renewal of Percy Jackson? Valentine's Day. Oh, interesting. Interesting choice. That's a copy of my antique that you have. They've got like a whole Myth of Magic card set. I don't know why they haven't started selling those yet. They should sell the drop too. No, they should sell all of this. <laughs> But specifically the Myth of Magic game. So like, every week a new poster for the show came out and they styled the poster in the style of like a Myth of Magic card. Mystery. It's like a game that Grover and Percy play. In the show? Yes, it's in like the beginning, like opening sort of. It's basically- oh, you're talking about like the first episode. Yeah, it's basically used to help prepare Percy for all the monsters he's gonna face. Like you see the card that says Chimera, you see the card that says Minotaur. So like he knows what their powers are and he knows like what their weaknesses are. And this dagger. I'm obsessed with the lightning bolt. Like the details on it is super cool. Mine? Yeah. Zeus did so, so we've got Zeus, rest in peace, Lance Reddick. Yeah. Loan courtesy of Disney. So he wore this? Yes. The king of the gods serves as a powerful foil and foe for Percy and his friends, a complex figure. Zeus demands the return of his master lightning bolt, no matter the cost. Biblically accurate Zeus outfit. He's described in the books to be wearing a pinstripe suit. So biblically accurate. There he is, Lance Reddick. In loving memory. That is so sweet. Jason Gonzalez. They had the flags in the back. <gasps> I didn't see that. Yeah. So cool. So many things they could sell. Hidden deep in the woods of Long Island. <laughs> like it's a horror movie or something. Pretty much. <clears throat> These are the shield they use. Percy's armor. I agree. It kind of yeah, made. I it kind of made them all look goofy in the show, though. But they're kids, so they're supposed to look goofy. I wonder if this is like the exact outfit he wore, if it's just a copy. <laughs> so we've got a Camp Half-Blood necklace, 
this is probably Luke's, I guess, because, so, you get a new bead every year that you're at camp, and Annabeth and Luke have, like, the same amount of beads, but Annabeth has a, um, her dad's ring on her necklace, so no ring, that leads me to believe that that's gonna be Luke's necklace, or just a regular Camp Half-Blood necklace, I guess. Annabeth's sword and shield. Her sword is so cool. Oh, Clarissa's spear. They don't even have a thing for it. It looks at least roughly at what I would assume is Clarice's spear. First spear. Oh. Did you use everything too? Another Cinderella story. So funny story about this, Walker and Percy in the show is wearing Vans the entire time. They have Converse here. I don't know if it's for like a deal they have with Converse or it's the fact that Walker stole the van off of set. <laughs> I also know that that's not his Riptide sword or at least it's only one of them because Walker also took one of those. What a thief. Walker <laughs> stole so much off of set. He took one of the backbiter swords to give it to Luke or Charlie if you will. Yeah. Those are like the shoes. So that does it for all the Percy Jackson stuff that's like in this specific part of Disney. I'm gonna keep an eye out for any Percy Jackson merch. I don't think Disney's been putting any of that out yet. I know there's been like a little bit of merch here and there at Barnes and Noble. Um, but I was just really excited to see the costumes. I think it's super cool that it's here. I think that this giant billboard wouldn't be here if they weren't planning to renew the series. I don't think they'd be flying the cast out to Disney and doing all these things with Disney that they've been doing on Instagram if they weren't planning to renew the series. So it's not a matter of if, in my opinion, it's a matter of when, fingers crossed, it's only a matter of time.